today's adventure in Grindelwald is brought to you by Squarespace. Previously, we explored the beautiful sites of Interlaken and the Lake Greens area. I can't linger too long because there's a queue. <laughs> now it's finally time to head up to Grindelwald where we can soon begin our 150 kilometer journey through the mountains with the end goal to reach the Matterhorn, the most striking mountain in all of Switzerland. There she is. We're so close now. Today's video is all about the sights around Grindelwald, but later in this series, I'll also be sharing all of the highlights from not just the hiking, but all of the villages and adventures that we experience along the way. So subscribe and come along for this next level adventure as we enjoy a summer in Switzerland together. One thing that will stay with you forever when you're traveling around the Swiss Alps is the pure joy that you feel when you're riding the trains in the Jungfrau region. This short train ride took us up from the Lake Breens area over to Interlaken where we changed trains and took a 25 minute train journey up to the higher and arguably the most famous village in all of the Swiss Alps, Grindelwald. Hello, welcome back and welcome to the next adventure here in the Swiss Alps. I've just gotten off the train at Grindelwald. This place is super popular because, I mean, just look at it. It is outrageous. And we're gonna sort of explore this place for a couple of nights and sort of see what there is to do here, do a few of the touristy things. I'm really excited to share with you Grindelwald. This is the starting point of my 150 kilometer hike to Zermatt. But before we leave Grindelwald and begin that epic journey, I thought we could spend a couple of days here, check into a hostel, and uh, enjoy it. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I've only just been here for five minutes. <laughs> enjoy. To reach my hostel, I had two options. I could wait for the free shuttle bus, but it didn't leave for another hour. So I decided, since this is a hiking series, to take the 15 minute walk up the hill to the hostel itself. But I was not prepared for how steep the hills are here in Grindelwald. <laughs> I definitely won't be just nipping to 7-Eleven to get a few cans of beer. See, that just looks like a normal path. I love it. We've been here five minutes. We're complaining already. <laughs> This is the hostel. It's called Youth Hostel Grindelwald. This is a chain of hostels, not just in Switzerland, but all over Europe. And this one was really nice. The only frustrating thing is that check-in is not until 4 p.m. And this hostel didn't even have anyone manning reception. And so no welcome, no information from anyone. And so I had to wait around for three hours until finally someone opened the reception, bang on four o'clock on the dot, and I was able to check in. Okay, <laughs> we're checked in. And, you know, everything seems fine now because the dorm room, six bedroom, nice wooden furniture. We have to make our own beds because they didn't have enough time to do it. <laughs> but all is made up for. Check out this view. You come outside and bosh. It's too late in the day to go up into the mountains to to do much really other than um, I feel like taking a shower. I feel like huh? trying to find a cold beer and just enjoy this view. God knows what the weather's like tomorrow. So maybe we should just take it in and enjoy the view and just relax down in the garden here. There's no one around, which is a shame. There's a family behind me checked in. There's another Chinese girl that checked in, but she's in a different room. Um, I don't know where everybody is. Maybe they'll check in later. <laughs> no plugs, no charging ports, just a light. 45 euros or francs. Check in at four, make your own bed. No plug, no charger. Bed thing doesn't fit. No information. No welcome. I'm officially 
miserable bastard. So yeah, I popped into town that evening and picked up my usual dinner from the supermarket of a hot wrap, a packet of crisps and a can of cider. 15 francs, but with a warm wrap in your belly and a cold refreshment, surrounded by these stunning views of the Eiger and the village of Grindelwald itself, you really cannot complain. And I took a few extra beers for the road and went back to the hostel and enjoyed a game and a fantastic sunset. And I got myself to bed because tomorrow we'll be having a big day exploring the sights and sounds of Grindelwald properly the next day. Good morning. Um, I slept well, thanks for asking. There was a full house in there. A few snorers, but nothing Apple EarPods noise cancellation can't cope with. As you can hear, I've awoken sick and I'm slightly devastated about this for two reasons. <clears throat> One, tomorrow is the starting point, the start date of my huge very optimistic goal of hiking to Zamat and my first day which starts tomorrow morning is up over this ridge on the Eiger trail up and over to Wengen should be about a seven hour hike anyway I digress I found something to do something very unique something extremely expensive and I'll <laughs> for what it is I mean it's probably a four hour activity up and down you'll see but it begins with a walk down into town and we're going to get on a cable car. The morning walk down to Grindelwald itself is lovely. This place really does live up to the hype, guys. When you come here in person, you'll experience the scale of these mountains, the beautiful wooden cabins, the flowers in bloom. Everything just adds up to create that magical alpine feeling. This is the Eiger Express cable car and we'll be taking this halfway up to the top of Jungfrau Jok. It was recently finished in 2020 and takes about 15 minutes to cover about six and a half thousand meters. They don't pack you in, which is nice. They have 44 huge gondolas and there's even one VIP gondola which has champagne and yeah, it's a bit fancy and you have to pay extra, but we're just going standard class. <laughs> The total journey to the summit of Jungfrau Jok Mountain will take us not just on the Eiger Express, but also on a train, and I'll show you that in a minute. And it will also include our ticket back down on the train and again on the Eiger Express. We're, we're already on the snow. We haven't even got halfway up to where we're going. This is the terminal where the cable car arrives. And believe it or not, behind me, there's a giant mountain. And we're gonna get on a train up to the highest train station in Europe. It's called Jungfrau Jok. And we have to go through this mountain. The train goes through, they drilled a hole, tunnel and the train system goes right through and gets spat out somewhere up there, but I can't quite see yet. Now a return ticket, ladies and gentlemen, cost me 200 Swiss francs. This is not a cheap trip at all. Discounts are available, however, you'll have to check online because they recently changed some of the rules and some of the travel passes. It's quite confusing in Switzerland, to be honest. And as I didn't need a multi-day train pass, I was just coming up here for a day trip. I didn't get any travel pass, so I paid the full amount. Either way, prepare your wallet to feel a lot lighter after this day out and this little adventure. And is it worth it? Well, let's see. The first issue we experienced was a technical fault, meaning long queues and a few frustrated passengers. You see, when you do buy a ticket online, it's only valid for one particular train at one particular time. So a lot of people were very worried that they weren't going to be allowed on, but thankfully the staff were very friendly and very welcoming, and they just packed everybody on the next train when it finally came down. The train stops quite high up into the mountain. We're literally in the mountain. I mean, look, I love the way that they engineered this tunnel. It's not even smoothed out. You can really feel the mountain. We're inside a mountain. I feel like a troll. Um, 
from Lord of the Rings. Anyway, there's a little stop here, 3,100 meter, and there's a little viewpoint where we can look at a glacier. Yeah, the views were lovely, but very, very short-lived. Only a few minutes passed before we were shouted at on the system to get back on the train and head up to our final stop. Once you arrive, it is a bit of a crammed situation and you enter into a gift shop and seemingly lots of crowds and confusion. My advice is to quickly squeeze your way through, find your way up to the viewing deck and try to get some fresh air and enjoy the views before the crowds figure out the way. Welcome to the top of Europe. As I attempt to not only grow my YouTube channel, but to create a bigger, more professional brand around Next Level Adventures, I know the importance of having a fantastic looking website. And if you're looking to create your own website, then I really recommend Squarespace. They make it really easy for you to do so. Simply pick one of their award-winning templates and then customize it to your exact needs with a few clicks of a button and you're good to go very quickly. I recently just decided to change my homepage and add my YouTube channel as a widget so people could see my most recent uploads and it was really easy to do so. I just copy and pasted some URL code into a new section and I'm definitely not a web designer and it took me two minutes and it looks great. You can also create premium products or premium services and sell that behind a paywall in a members area. Again, that's really easy to create on Squarespace. You can add your social media accounts with a click of a button so people can follow you and know exactly what you've got for sale or what kind of promotions you've got going. So head to Squarespace today, completely for free, create your website, see how easy it really is. And then when you're ready to go live, head to squarespace.com forward slash Paddy Doyle and you'll get 10% off. Up here, you'll immediately feel the altitude. So get ready for that. You might start to feel a little bit lightheaded. But the views are absolutely fantastic. The mountains, the glaciers, the distant views, you really do feel like you're on top of a peak. Well, practically you are. This is 3,500 meters up, guys. Just be also prepared to share it with everybody else. To be honest, the experience so far was a little bit underwhelming, so I decided to make my way down and try to figure out a way to get away from the crowds and to find my own adventure. I wonder where they're going. Ah, oh, this is better. Look at this. It's crazy how hot it is. Like in the tunnels, freezing. Out here in the sun, boiling. It feels like it's 35 degrees. <laughs> but I'm surrounded by snow and ice. Anyway, the problem is, you know, the train arrives. So you have a thousand people all get dumped into that small space and everyone goes up to the staircase, everyone goes to the viewpoint together. So it's just a little bit of a cluster f But once you get out and away, you can find your own space. We'll keep going. We'll, we'll go up in this direction. We'll see what we can find. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy this snow on my ass. <laughs> This is absolutely glorious. 
experience. It feels nice to be at finally up a mountain. Even though we've got a cable car and a train up here, that's fine. And if you do come up to Jungfrau Joch, the highest train station, if I were you, just quickly run, go get a picture before the crowds arrive, get straight out of that situation. There's some weather rolling in. Behind me, can you see those grey clouds? They were forming down in the valley of Grindelwald, so maybe back where I'm staying is it's raining. But down this side of the valley in this glacier, going that way, it's a beautiful day still, so let's make the most of this sun, let's make the most of this weather. Now that is a view. You can see the hut now. <sighs> the views are just unbelievable. We're higher. We're higher now than the observation station where everybody was earlier. We're higher than that now. We've hiked up to higher altitude. Biggest issue I have is my reservation ticket. I have a specific train to catch. I'm not going to catch it now. It's in 15 minutes. <laughs> so I won't be in the posh part of the train. I think I'll just have to miss my reservation and go in with everybody else. But it doesn't make any difference. The train was rammed anyway. how much they charge for a beer up here. <sighs> Cute. Cheers, big ears. Mm. <laughs> An apple pie. Trying a little bit of the local tipple here. It smells like a bunch of flowers at the, at the florist. Mm. Wow, tastes like a little bit like grappa, you yeah? know? Oh, it's sweet and it's strong and it's good. Well, I've gone for the soup because it's so cozy up here, I just don't fancy leaving. And it, you can order soup with sausage or cheese. I ordered it with cheese and I thought that they would just grate some cheese on there, but look at this. They give you a massive piece of cheese, the size of my face. Thank you very much. And the soup's delicious. Vegetables, grains, oh, it looks good. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. It's interesting. Do you just put the soup on the cheese?
I don't know how to eat it, but um, no? this is a better idea. Yeah. <laughs> if I was gonna have a heart attack coming up, I'm definitely gonna have a heart attack going down. <laughs> what was the cause of death? Well, his arteries were clogged with a massive block of cheese that he just ate. Yeah, I had a lovely hour and a half in that cabin and made some friends, some doctors from New York. And the altitude was quite difficult to deal with, so we were just resting and enjoying the hot soup and the cold beer. Then I walked back down to the station. And had a look around the gift shops and the ice sculptures and there's a few other attractions and things you can do there but um, a bit of a letdown to be honest just not just not that interesting and it's freezing cold and you're in the dark so by far the hike to that little cabin was the highlight of the Jungfrau Jok experience as well as the mesmerizing views so is it worth coming up to Jungfrau Jok I think the answer is Yes, because the views and the little hike to the cabin up at that altitude, really, that it's, it's unrivaled. It's just very crowded and expensive. So pros and cons. And by the time I took the train and the cable car back down to Grindelwald, I enjoyed a beer in a restaurant and another evening at the hostel, made some friends. And that was pretty much my experience in Grindelwald. There's so much more to Grindelwald. There's other areas, there's other hikes, there's at least three full days of activities to enjoy there. But in the next episode, we'll be leaving Grindelwald to finally begin the big hike all the way to Zermatt. Listen, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch the next one, then just click here and it will take you straight to the next episode. And if you just want to watch the whole playlist, one after the other, without having to press anything else, then click here, okay? And if you enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe. Completely free to do, and it helps me out. Anyway, now this is awkward. <laughs>